One of the best things you could do for your business is to create a system that works in the background that shares your story, your vision, your values, your beliefs with your audience before they even talk to you. And the best way to do that is to build a welcome sequence or an onboarding sequence, no matter where they come from, so they get a sense of what you're all about. And that's gonna build that relationship that's gonna move them closer to taking more action with you. And what we're gonna show you in this video is how to do that in Active Campaign using some templates and tools and I'm going to show you real life examples and ways you can apply it for yourself. Now over the next while, I'll be doing a lot of this stuff for small business, sales, strategy, systems. So if that's the, the situation that you're in, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification because we're going to be going all out on YouTube over the next while and I want to help you win. So let's get going on this one talking all about Welcome Series. Okay, if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, you know my wife has just launched her new business, OnlineBalletTraining.com, and one of the first things that we did when we got that set up is we built a welcome series using Active Campaign. Uh, and if you're interested in getting Active Campaign, there's links below, and I'd love for you to support us by clicking that because we get a little piece of it as an affiliate. But uh, Active Campaign I use for a ton of stuff. And when we did this, the the, the thing is, is if you're just getting started out or you've got a, a long time business, I've got clients who have nothing like this built in, but as soon as you start to build welcome sequences and you start to build a little bit of campaigns, your clients start to understand more about what you do. And the, the way that I think about this is if you talk to people and you ask them, what is it that you think we do? Or what do I do? Or what does our business do? They're going to tell you just a small snippet of it. And if people that know you well, don't fully understand what you do, how do you expect your clients to do it? Especially if they're looking on your website, looking at all your stuff, they're not gonna go They're not gonna go through all of your stuff, they're gonna look for the thing that you solve right now. And if we're just talking to the people about what they're trying to solve right now, we're missing a huge opportunity to share with them our beliefs, our vision, our other offers, and get them indoctrinated into what it is that we actually offer as a complete service. So building a welcome series is a great piece that then fits in well with newsletters and campaigns and other things that you can do. And so when we build this, it's really, um, uh, we, we took a lot of different examples that are out there and for, for this uh, online ballet training, uh, what we wanted to do is to say, okay, there's a, anybody can teach a ballet class or, or a dance class uh, that, that just says, okay, here's my Zoom, here's what you do, and we book it. So I'm going to show you on ours, this is what it looks like. So it's pretty straightforward. Here's an intro, here's what we do, here's our schedule, and here are where you can book these classes. Now, people are booking these things, but what we wanted to do is say, okay, great, they're booking them. We can drive them, we can run ads uh, to get there, but once they book these classes, we wanna say, okay, let's do more with them. So we have um, ways that we can capture their email. So we say, subscribe to our email list. We're gonna send them some stuff. We've got different ways that we can do that, but once they click and just enter their email, we're doing what's called progressive profiling. So we say, well, tell us a little bit more about yourself. So everybody that joins a class ends up going to uh, this page as well to say, tell us more. And this allows us to then customize an experience for them, or at the very least, start to gather data. And data and understanding your customers, the segments and what they do, is one of the most important things you can do for your business, no matter how big you are. We did this as one of the first steps when we set up OnlineBalletTraining.com, is we built a welcome sequence and we built a progressive profiling tool. Um, in there as well, on the thank you page, it says, you know, go to our Facebook page, click here to subscribe. We're really trying to make sure that all of these subscribes are helping us understand more about them, but we're, we're reducing the friction at the front end of it by just getting them to put their email in. And then as they go through our processes, we start to learn more about them. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Inside of Active Campaign, this is what our system looks like here, is we've got lots of different things. So we use this for a bunch of different brands, a bunch of tools. And like I said, if you're interested in Active Campaign, um, either shoot me a message below or uh, click the link and uh, we'll, uh, you'll be able to get into Active Campaign. But it's very, very user friendly. It's my favorite tool to use. We've used uh, MailChimp. I've helped clients with Infusionsoft and every tool out there you can imagine. I've tried. 
This one I love. Um, and one of the things that you look at right away is the difference between campaigns and automations. We're going to be talking about automations. Campaigns are typically one-off things that you send like a newsletter or an announcement, but we're going to be focusing on automations. So if we go in here, I've got a whole bunch of automations that we've built over the last bunch of years for different processes. Uh, for example, we've got the welcome series when I deliver um, these guys here. So if somebody wants to download a question guide or let's say a, uh, a sales process guide, they're going to get, um, they're going to put their email in and they're going to talk about questions inside here. There's now the post lead magnet fault, welcome and follow up. So everybody that does that gets a follow up sequence sequence. So we're delivering that lead magnet. We're doing a follow up sequence, but everybody's getting a bit of a welcome series. Um, in my, is this the one here? Yeah. So the sales hero Academy members. So people that are joining my Academy that I have, I get notified and it says, uh, Hey Joe, you got a new member entering your automation. That's awesome. Cause we just got paid, but now we say, okay, you're in. And then, you know what we've learned from coaching, now we say, have they ever actually gone inside the membership so we can customize their experience here? Have they done something? Yes or no. If they haven't, then we send them an email. You haven't gone in yet. Why not? And then if they, um, or if they haven't been in there, we say, Hey, you haven't been in the aside, the Academy yet. Why not? They wait for a couple days. Have they ever visited the, um, the, the members here a couple days? We say, Hey, get involved in the Facebook group. And we say, you know, have you ever visited the Facebook group? No. So as we go through, we can customize their experience. And I wanted this to feel more of like a coaching conversation through emails that we set up these emails to do that. So that's really one of the powerful things of active campaign. We're going to simplify it with you. Uh, let's go in here. This is another one, a free, uh, a free five part course. We're sending out through emails with different videos, um, and a video one of five. So these are the emails that go out. So we've got lots of stuff that we can use it for. This is the one we want to look at. So what we did, and I've got a template for you that you can follow along with, uh, with the specific examples in here. So what you can do your day one, day zero, welcome day one, who we are day three, what to expect day seven, what you can do. It's not your fault that you, uh, that you believe certain things. There's links in here. Um, day 10, you can then position your stuff. You can ask for feedback and then the email copies all in here. So essentially this is all we're doing is we're going in here. We're saying when somebody subscribes to our list of online ballet training. So that's what we collected there. That means that anybody that's going through here is subscribing to the email list. And once they do, then they get these emails. So we wait an hour. So the reason we wait an hour is that we want them to be able to receive like if they're signing up for a class that they get all the information for doing the class, but not to, um, to interfere with that. So we had an hour and then we say, okay, well, welcome to online ba ballet training. This is what we believe. So thanks for being a part of this. This is what you can do. Attend regular classes like the Facebook page, set up your home studio, ballet, uh, home ballet studio. Here's what we got going on. Let us know how we can do it. And then we build links and things in there. And with the links inside, let's go here. So you can see what that looks like. We've got links inside that email so they can look at different classes. They can have links to do things. They can register for other classes. They can forward this and all of those links are all tracked inside of there. So we can see very specifically what people do with all of the emails we send. And so each email, so we wait uh, one day to send the next one. We wait two more days to send the next one, wait three more days to send the next one, three more days. And right now we've got this set up just to hold people into a queue because we've just launched this. We've got 82 people people that have gone through this and, uh, and they go through it once. And then what we can do is move them to other automations or do something else. But what we're probably going to do is build then a 30 day email, a 60 day email, a 90, 180, 365. So we have some kind of a, uh, a system that's going out on top of our regular campaigns. We can also customize um, the messaging that goes out based on these questions that they're asked. So if they're interested in more of um, the kids classes, they're interested more in the beginner classes, depending on what types of classes, how long the budget, we can send them customized emails based on the answers that they put in there. So it's a really, really important system. But this, all this does, if we think about the purpose of this is you know, we, we're going to be doing a lot more of videos and memberships and different things inside the, the, the program, but this allows us to send somebody something about what we believe. 
right? So here's what we believe at All Night Ballet Training. Here's our story and our vision. Let's talk about judgment. Let's talk about fear. We can tell a personal story um, of when Ursula went from dance of uh, motivational uh, to or inspiration to fear, right? Um, then she can share her beliefs, her vision, and people are reading this and then they're responding to this and saying, wow, that's how I feel too. And it's locking them in to being a part of an engaged membership. It's a being a part of an engaged customer base and this runs in the background. And the reason this stuff is so powerful is that for me, I've been running lots of multiple different businesses and lots of different funnels and things. And I have people that go through say my academy or they go through maybe a YouTube video and they get some emails and they get engaged and then they respond and say, hey, now I'm ready to take our relationship to the next level. Now I'm ready to give you a bit more money or talk to you about something a little bit more important. So these things are really, really powerful. And then you go through, you can look, um, you know, what to expect, how we solve a problem. So this tells them, you know, how to talk about their goals, how to take control. Uh, monthly memberships will be another one we add in here once we're ready to launch. Uh, it's not your fault. I think it was Ramit uh, Sethi uh, was uh, the one that I stole this from, this idea. But we've got this one, make ballet great again, right? And so this one was all about, <clears throat> you know, how to make sure that you're uh, making the most of this and, you know, <clears throat> wondering like, is it my fault that I'm not doing things? So we take that pressure off them. And benefits, plans. So this one is a good one to talk about. Here's a roadmap of how you can work with us. Now, of course, in all these emails, like I said, we've got um, different tools and things they can click on and we can track all that behavior and customize that experience. So you can do it as simple or as complex as you want, but really what you're trying to do is help your brand new audience, your new subscribers, get a sense of who you are, what you believe and how they can work with you. Make sense? Okay. So this is all part of sort of a, a flywheel approach to your business rather than just funnels where you're saying, I want to, you know, drive ads and book somebody to come in and do this and this and this and this. And we spend a whole bunch of money just trying to get people to book classes. We try and optimize those. The welcome sequence in these campaigns allow you to put some stuff in the background that your audience can connect with, that they can do more with you. And by building this engagement sequence, you're going to delight them. You're going to attract them. You're going to get them to do more with your brand so that when they're ready to buy, Buy, they will. And I'll show you the other part that I really like is where are we here? Let's go back in here. We can look at these emails. Now I kind of made a mistake when I first set this up, but we have actually, um, there's 82 people have gone through this. So this number should be higher, but these are the open rates on these emails. So even if you're getting say 50% overall, um, now we could say, okay, well, what subject lines are working? We can split test these, but this tells me, you know, out of all the people, um, so 66 out of 82 is actually the number that we're looking at. So it's closer to like 80, 90% there. I don't even want to know about 80%, right? Um, but if you think about what this does, that means everybody that's coming in, most of the people that are coming in, they're opening something. We can click and go deeper into the reports on what they're clicking on. But this tells me that what they're doing is interesting. So 50 people, um, 50 percent of the people that are in like maybe buying a product from you or subscribing, downloading a lead magnet. We've got a client right now. We're doing a huge process where they have 10,000 of their um, people just on a list. We're building a guide for all of those people. And then when they click on it, they're going to go through a welcome sequence just like this. And they're going to start to go, oh, I didn't know you did that. I didn't know this worked. You're going to see what links they click on. And this part also allows us to understand what our customers want on a deeper level. So when you start to see the links that they click on, so you build campaigns and you build welcome sequence and you have different pathways that they can take. Maybe you have a really just a killer blog post or some videos you'd like to share that you'd like to drive more traffic to, or you want to compare how this topic relates to this topic. You put those in these emails, you see which ones are the winning combinations and you're going to start to get much clearer on what your audience works, even if you're you're starting from scratch. And that's what we did. Before we put our first sign up in here, we started to build our email list. We started to build our welcome sequence and we've only been running this for about a month or so. And already, you know, hundred people um, or 80 something people have gone through and started to click through our welcome sequence. And so this is why it's so important to build this and you can see the value of this. And all I'm asking you to do is um, if you don't have a mail system, uh, get active campaign, 
click on here, create an automation, create a list, and just anybody that's subscribing or get downloading stuff, or you know, if you're out there asking to get, you know, create a sign up page that even just looks as simple as this. You can create this right inside of Active Campaign to say, hey, are you interested in getting something from us? Fill this thing out and we'll send it to you. And you can send them a nice guide or some kind of a resource that your audience honestly will love. And then you say, okay, once they download that, what do we want to talk to them about? How do we want them to understand who we are, what they believe, what options we have, how we can work together, and then put some links and put some images. The welcome sequence is a very, very powerful tool for you. You can also, let's say you're running social media campaigns, YouTube campaigns. All you do is just send them to this, this link. Uh, where's the, my, I don't know where my link is. All you do is you send them to this link. So we use this in different uh, different posts and things that we want, and you can customize these forms. You go right in here, and you just pick a new form, and that form is a link online, and you just send them that link. So imagine you're running uh, a YouTube seek or a YouTube uh, playlist, and you're trying to get more people to engage with you. So you run a, a set of YouTube videos that talk about a very specific challenge or a very specific market, and you say, "Hey, I've also got this free thing that I'm happy to send you. Go to this link and get get it." Right, and then you you just make a thank you page or a page that just has give me your email and it looks something like this. Uh, I don't know where it is. It looks something like this, right? Give me your email and I'll send it to you. And then they go to this page. Tell me more about what you're trying to do uh, while you're waiting for that thing to show up. And now you can progressively profile them and you can start to really understand what your audience wants before you build more stuff. And then you build a, maybe a sequence of 10, 20 YouTube videos that all lead people down this, this same kind of pathway. You're going to be able to get people engaged with you. And if you have a bigger offer, you can start to offer that towards the end of the welcome sequence once they feel a little bit more connected with you. So this is a very, very cool tool that you can use today in your business. You can go through this template. Template, you can click and get active campaign and if you want help you can let me know and I'm happy to help you and leave your comments in the video below and what we're working on right now is a whole bunch of stuff for small business systems sales strategy I'm building a whole bunch of courses and resources so make sure you click that subscribe button if you're trying to grow your business in a in a systemic not systematic way not I don't know whatever way you want to do it if you're, so make sure you click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you're going to be notified when we start putting more of this stuff out. My goal is to help you sell more and not have to be a salesy weirdo by building meaningful tools in your business to make your life easy. So hope that helps. Leave your comments below on uh, areas that you want help on or areas that you want me to focus on and uh, let's make something happen, baby. Hey, this is Joe Girard with Change Your Chief. Thanks for checking this out. Remember to subscribe and check out some of the other videos and resources we have. You know, as a sales coach, I spend a lot of my time just helping people be less weird and more human with their customers. If we can help you and your high-performing team, reach out to us, let us know, and let's connect soon.